Hello fellow gunners, Tim here at the reloading bench where I am going to compare aluminum gas checks to copper gas checks. Now, if uh, you kind of turn your head this way, you'll notice I put some copper gas checks on and I put some aluminum gas checks on. And I've got some kickouts. I've got more aluminum kickouts than I, or more copper, copper kickouts than I do aluminum. Uh, I'm actually having better luck putting them on the aluminum ones than the copper ones. Now these are just now these are from. Uh, let me put a plug in here. Sage's Outdoors gas checks. Now these are not the Gators. These are just their copper ones. And I'll tell you right up front. Don't worry about spending that extra dollar for the Gators. They're so much better than just these copper ones. These copper ones. Uh, now I don't know. You know. Yeah, you can see a little bit here. But the. Uh, it looks like they they they're not cut clean. There's kind of a rough edge, and it's worse on one side than it is the other. But besides that, and see here's the aluminum ones. The aluminum ones are cut pretty clean. The uh, they just seem to be a little more tender. Uh, than the gators. The gators, I can put a little more pressure on them, and the, or during the sizing process, and they don't tend to buckle. Uh, these tend to buckle. Uh, now I've I've overcome that with my uh, my uh, sizer luber. Uh, after I press the gas check down I just kind of hit the base pull it down to size the gas check onto the base and then run it through my Lee sizing die and it seems to work a lot better uh, the aluminum ones I am not having a bit of trouble with the aluminum ones uh, the aluminum ones are just so much easier to work with. I can put them on. Now see, now that I'm on camera, I'm, I'm having trouble. <laughs> oh, I just like playing tiddlywinks. Alright. But, as you can see, with this bullet leaning, it's leaning back. It still doesn't matter. I can take this down. And press it with my my uh, cedar uh, gizmo thingy, my gas check cedar, and you will notice that it sets well. Actually, what I've noticed is the aluminum ones. It's like you expand them; They're, they they come loose. And that makes it easier because I then I can remove my cedar and just kind of push down until the gas check is on the base. And then it is pressed on. And you can see that bottom groove or band is sized. And then then I take it over to the Lee sizer. I push it right on through. And then it comes out like this. It's totally sized. You can see where it's sized. Now this dot or this mold that drops this drops them out uh, above 0 0.360. So and I, the sizing die I have in sizes to 
three, uh, 0.3575. So, and then once I powder coat it, which I will, and once I powder coat these, I will size them uh, even more. I will size them down to a 0.3565. Uh, for the 350 legend. Now these bullets are the uh, NOE uh, 154 grain gas check, uh, which with the copper gas check brings it up to uh, right around 358, 357. I mean 157 or 158. With the aluminum one, now here's here's the deal. I'm just gonna say what they what they weigh. The copper ones weigh almost four uh, grains. The aluminum ones are just a little above a grain. Now that's the um, 35 caliber gas checks or the 38 caliber gas checks. Uh, that's what I'm running into. So I get. Uh, almost four grains with the copper and just above a grain with the aluminum. So how that's going to affect my groups and stuff, we will just uh, have to look at that later. Uh, right now, guys, I am not able to get to the range. And that will be a while. Uh, I, oops, I forgot my cedar. <laughs> that happens from time to time. But there's some family issues that I had to remove my firearms from my home. And uh, they will be in storage for, for a while. So... I will not be able to do any shooting videos, and I really miss it, so <laughs> that's that. Okay, guys, so this series will go on. This will be my uh, gas check, copper versus gator versus aluminum gas check series, and it will go from here, but this is what I want to talk about now was... So far, the aluminum ones are actually easier to work with than the copper or the gators. And then the gators are easier to work with than just the plain copper ones. But that might be just this lot of gas checks I got. Uh, but like I said, I improved that by sizing the base in my Luber sizer and then sizing it in my Lee Instead of clamping the gas check on, then going to my Lee sizer. All right, guys. <clears throat> Catch you in the next video. If it was me, I'd just buy the cheapest gas checks and go from there. What's Tim worried about?